Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So you guys wanted me to break down the whole drama with Tokyo Tony, The Real, Black China. This whole situation is a mess, okay? So what's going down is this. Last week, Tokyo Tony went on to The Real. She was also on TMZ. She was doing this whole press run for the Zeus Network because she has a new show that's now out called Finding Love or Love with Tokyo Tony. Some shit about love, honey. Basically, it's a knockoff of, you know, I love New York, you know, flavor of love, stuff like that. But instead, Tokyo Tony's the one trying to find love. So tell us about this. What's um, the hook? Well, this is the thing, Harvey. I'm seeking love on the Zeus Network because it's so hard to find love out here. Everybody comes so felonious and this, that, and the third. Then I wanted a little mixer, a little flavor. We have a little bit of everything. I mean, it's bisexual guys. We have girls. We have all types of foreign guys, funny built guys, ugly guys, handsome guys. It's a little bit of everything, honey. So she came onto the reel to basically promote the show and talk, and a lot of people were not feeling it. A lot of folks were dragging the reel in the comment section, like, why would you have her on here? She's abusive to her daughter. This was the wrong choice to have her on here. Let her continue to be an internet meme and an internet joke, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a snippet of her on the reel. Go ahead and check this out. This is your first time on the show. We're so ha excited to have you. You know, because, you know, you were kind of thrust in the public eye when your daughter, Black China, became famous. Yes. How do you deal with, you know, the fame? Well, it's like this. I just have to deal with it. Mm. Okay. I just have to deal with it. Um, my daughter is famous. Yeah. And being as though she's famous, everything comes back on me mm -hmm. because she's the only child. I'm her mom. So, oh, yeah. You know, it happens. Yeah. You know? So dealing with it, it's, it's okay. I like it. I'm sitting here right here on the you like it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. So, of course, what's going on now is that basically Tokyo Tony is dragging the shit out of Black China. Once again, her negativity and toxicity knows no bounds. Even when they're supposed to be cool and helping each other and, you know, she would not have this show if it was not for Black China, she's now accusing Black China of being jealous of her, saying she's a better actress, you know, saying that Black China is not promoting her. She is going off, and this entire situation is just embarrassing, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out. And I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So this is what happened. Basically, Tokyo Tony posted a screenshot of Black China's page, and she says this. She says, I take note is that when you post, you post six other posts above it less than an hour later. Keep in mind, I did everything myself. I did not ask you for nothing since I've been in California. I received absolutely nothing. All I ask is that you post my premiere of my show that I created. I didn't F you. I think she means I didn't ask you for your hairstylist. I did not ask you to buy me a fucking thing. I did not ask you for your makeup artist. I did it my goddamn self. I don't know what your problem is, but my problems are solved, baby girl. I am vindictive from your lies and your deceit. I raised you, but I don't know who the fuck you are anymore. Thank you for letting me walk from your house for seven days while you sit in five cars and one motorcycle with your motherfucking car still in my fucking driveway in Washington, D.C. She'll be told off the street by morning. Your jealousy has overrated and overshadowed who you are. It's very unlikely for me that we're going to get back to where we were before due to your jealousy. You never let anybody above you because you're afraid they're going to do you. Yes, ma'am, I came first the chicken before the egg, baby. This is outrageous, and I'm not holding back any fucking more. You can keep pushing. I did everything for you. Your kids had no clothes. I had bought them. Clothing. Your jealousy is outrageous. Who have you ever brought up? You had a friend named Treasure for 13 years. That bitch still ain't got nothing besides you day in, day out. I want no more dealings with you. You are despicable, for you continue to lie on me. It's absolutely outrageous. It is very clear, my dear, you were raised by me. It's very clear you are jealous of me. It's very clear you don't like organic shit. It's sorry you look like me, but that's what got you where the fuck you are. You showed absolutely no support. You bought wigs, but I never received them. You so-called got shit from Fashion Nova. I never saw it. Guess what, baby girl? You're back on your fucking home. You're back. God, this is horrible. 
You're back on your fucking home. Leave me alone. I hate my time with you. It was miserable as fuck. I thought we were coming back together. But in real life shit, you're my downfall. You always pretend like the shit is good, but it shows. You are absolutely despicable. How do you help? You got these people walking around on eggshells. Bitch, that will never happen here. It shows I'm a friend. I can see through the DMs letting me know that you didn't post nothing, sweetheart. I'm all natural. Are you jealous of that? You want to show people you don't give a fuck about nothing I post? Well, guess what, bitch? I'm going to tell them what it is. Don't fuck with you either. You are wicked. You're wild. You're jealous of your own mother. Get therapy. Then she says, drunk ass, you embarrassed me in front of the shade room. That's why they said they will never post your bitch ass again. You are so disgusting with your fake ass, but your fake teeth, your fake ankles, your fake brain. You're not a boss, bitch. You're a loser. Get therapy. Then she says, fake ass, you're jealous of your own mother and everybody sees it from Zeus all the way down. It's no excuse. You're not the shit anymore, my love. Trust me, the next bitch is running up on your shoulders right now. To dog your own mother continuously from your bullshit lies. Delta now, fuck you. I'll be over there to get my shit. You try me and I'm going to bust your fucking ass, I promise you. Hollywood will suck you the fuck up and drain you dry. It throws you in the trash and that's your business, not mine. I'm busy. I'm so fucking sick of you. I can't see straight and I'm done with your ass. You are jealous of every bitch that comes by you. You actually yelled out the Jocelyn. We have only one season. Who the fuck does that? No, bitch. She's going to have plenty of seasons. I'm on my way to Miami to congratulate her. How about that? To make damn sure she wins. Therapy. You told my fans to walk the other way, not beside you. You are you a fucking lunchbox or not. Straight up and down weirdo. I'm the only bitch that ever fucking looked out for you, bitch. So guess what? Drowned out your bullshit. Leave your Hollywood fake fucking life. Like my nigga wanna live and do real shit in the real world, bitch. You mad now are you wait on it, baby girl. Because people are running up to you, kissing your dumb retarded ass, and give you everybody your ass to kiss. Do you still treat them dumb bitches like trash? Like a dumb ass bitch, Jenny? I don't give a fuck about no TV no, no, it, this shit, I'm natural and you are not. You had a good reputation at one point, then it turned sour. Notice your numbers aren't going up, baby girl, because of who you are. You need to change your motherfucking ways before I ever fuck with you again. You are so jealous of any bitch that you think will get ahead of you, bitch. I'm your mother, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? You never, ever did that shit for me. Name it. I don't need you to do shit for me. You can't, you tell. I did my own shit and I found my own way. I spend my own money and still help your ass. You were to post Fashion Nova before you look out for your mother. For a few or nothing as long as you've been famous. I've never asked you for shit. What $60 to get my tooth pulled because I hold her. Yet cash, they took credit from you, idiot. I don't need surgery, baby. Everything on me is organic and natural, as you are jealous of your own mother. Do not help me at all for the past 90 days is absolutely ridiculous. You gave me that dumbass birthday shit just for the show. Who the fuck you think you playing with? When your ass came through and tried to strike me and put you want your motherfucking ass, you think your back was broke then, bitch? If you ever try it again, I'ma put your ass 25 feet under, bitch. Honey, I need a big ass sip after all that rambling bullshit, okay? She wrote even more, but I was done reading, okay? At this point, I'm over it. I hate reading her rants. They're nonsensical. The, the spelling is horrible. The grammar is horrible. Fuck that shit, okay? So anyways, after that went viral, people started clowning the real like, see, this is who y'all let on the show. Y'all make all these excuses. Y'all had no business bringing her on the show. So now Lonnie Love is addressing this situation. So I want you guys to go ahead and see what Lonnie Love had to say. Go ahead and check this out. On this show, we have yes. different types of women. Yeah. Last week, we had um, Tokyo Tony. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of people were questioning, why did we have her on? Wow. 
she deserves to be on, just yeah. like we have Absolutely. Kamala Harris, just like we have a Kerry Washington. Yes. You know, these are... The purpose of our show is to have all women of all different That's backgrounds right. and yeah. types. And if they want to come and promote something, who are we to judge? Yeah. Because you okay. see them in a certain light. Let them right. come and have their voice. Yeah. That's what this yes. show should be about, yeah. is different yeah. voices. Yes. All right, so you guys just heard what Lonnie Love had to say. And in my opinion, if you don't regret bringing her on as a guest, then there's no reason to even address it, okay? I feel like they do regret it and they feel kind of salty because everybody's giving them backlash. You know, you're saying that you guys promote all types of women. This is not a woman who should be promoted. She's toxic as hell and you can't give a platform to everybody. And my thing is... Her show, like, what about her show needs to be promoted onto national television to young girls? Y'all talk about, you know, positivity. Y'all talk about young girls doing better, you know, staying on the right track. But then this is a type of trash show that you guys are promoting and you guys are co-signing. And I don't agree with that, okay? You had Tamara on there, you know, who's like more like a Christian type chick. And so I just think it's bullshit when you have somebody on there like Tokyo Tony and then you guys are trying to come at the fans like they're wrong for calling y'all out. No, y'all are wrong for even giving this woman a platform for this bullshit ass show. So what is this show that she wants everybody to watch and tune in for? I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some clips and you guys let me know what you guys think about this. Is this something that the real should have got behind? Demanding that some random guy eat her pussy? I mean, this whole situation is just ratchet. Y'all go ahead and check this out. A white boy in me? You think you can fucking handle me? Really? Let's see. Yeah. Now, I'm the bossy bitch. If I get in your face like this mm -hmm. and say, you sit your fucking ass down now and eat my pussy. I think I'd do it. Okay. <laughs> he wins. <laughs> hmm. He might be a scammer. <laughs> he looks like he might be a scammer. My name's Jared. What up, Jared? How you doing? What do you do, babe? I'm surf instructor. You're such a loser. Oh, yeah? A fucking double L. Double L? Yeah. Oh, this little teeny ass man with this crunchy little hair. But you need to wash your hair. You need to fix your hair. He stays in the water. Well, That's why the fuck is hair not looking clean? His hair clean. is clean. No, you need to fucking wash your hair, cut your hair. I'm really into cleanliness. It's now that you know this, let's work on it. Okay? I Honest. shampoo and condition my hair. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. I can't do well, that. We didn't name him yet. What we gonna call it? No name. You have no fucking name. Goodbye. Tokyo Tony gives me the nickname No Name. I'm like, really? Get him the fuck out of here. <sighs> I gotta give her this dick. Then she'll change my name. Then she'll be calling me Good Dick or something. <laughs> Hello, love. Okay, what's Hello. your back to account looking like right now? I'm sorry? Your account. My account? Yeah, is it short? Money. Is it fat? It's fat? Fat? Hell yeah. Okay, I don't know check out money. You can't be a flashy ass motherfucker like me and be a broke bitch. Let me ah. see your best stroke before I send you on your way. Oh, Ma I don't know about all that. You about to be your ass all the way down. Your Michael Jackson move. What's up? Uh, all right, y'all. That's all I know, baby. Uh, that's all I know. Uh, uh, that's all I know. Uh, 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 move it in a circle. Uh, uh, uh. All right, so you guys just saw the snippets of the show. So again, why would the mainstream media, why would a mainstream outlet want to promote something like that? where she's being disrespectful, she's being vulgar. But then in the same breath, y'all will have shows talking about, you know, how young girls need to have respect for themselves and, you know, carry themselves a certain way. So that's, to me, that's bullshit. They had no reason to put this woman on the show, especially being that she's so negative and toxic towards her daughter. I'm not surprised at all that once again, she's attacking Black China because that's what she does. Okay, it was only a matter of time before she started feeling herself once again and decided to turn on her daughter. And it's really sad that once again, Black China has to go through all this mess with her mom instead of just enjoying and living her best damn life okay once again her mom is cussing her out calling her out types of bitches basically talking to her like she's some female on the street as opposed to being her daughter so again i feel like they were both using each other 
Black China was using her mother for ratings for her show. And then because of Tokyo Tony's antics and all that mess, she was able to get her own spinoff. And I do feel like Black China may feel some type of way about that because she didn't do all this foolishness for her mother to get a spinoff and Black China to lose her whole damn staff, okay? But I think the way that she talks to her daughter is insane. Black China does not owe Tokyo Tony anything. If she chooses to help her mother, great. If she chooses not to help her mother, that is her business because of the way that her mother continuously bashes her and treats her. At this point, in my personal opinion, this is straight up child abuse. Even though Black China is grown, she's still somebody's child. And this is, you know, this is child abuse. If Black China was a little child, like 13, 14 years old, nobody would co-sign this. Nobody would give this woman a platform. But because she's a grown adult, people act like this abuse and the way she talks to her daughter is okay. And it's not okay. And for the real to co-sign it and then try to, you know, get defensive when people call them out on their bullshit, I think that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? I think they need to be more professional and more mindful of the people that they bring on their platform. Platform. Everyone who's trending on social media does not necessarily need a platform in the mainstream media, okay? They wouldn't have Woe Vicky on there talking. They damn sure wouldn't have Bad Baby on there. So why would you bring Tokyo Tony on there to promote this ratchet-ass dating show? So this entire situation's a hot damn mess, honey, but let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, honey, okay? Thumbs up. Okay, and most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be a part of the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys feel about Tokyo Tony once again, basically dragging Black China and disrespecting her? We knew that was going to be coming. And then how do you guys feel about her being allowed on the reel and then Lonnie trying to make excuses for this situation after people started dragging the reel? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.